Hi there! When you have a program that solves Sudoku puzzles, which is more efficient, find a logical solution or just test all possible options until the solution is found? In this video, let's find out by running an experiment. First, a bit of a background to this problem. There are quite a few Sudoku solvers out there, some written by true Sudoku lovers and some by programming enthusiasts looking for a challenge. And generally, all solvers fall into one of two categories. One, let's call it brute force or backtracking solvers. Essentially, they try all possible combinations cell by cell, stepping back or backtracking whenever they encounter that number doesn't comply with Sudoku rules. Another group of solvers use reasoning. They try to look at existing numbers and infer or logically deduce what the unknown numbers are. There are numerous strategies that can be used from fairly simple ones to quite complex Typically, the last resort in these solvers is also backtracking, but only when all other methods return no result. Okay, now, big question. Which method works best? Brute force or logic? And if logic, which strategies do you need to use? In my previous video, I talked about the solver I wrote. It uses 10 different strategies, including backtracking. And the strategy can be switched on and off, so it's a perfect tool for conducting an experiment. Now let's talk details of this experiment. I will arbitrarily suggest we use puzzles of various difficulties, from easy ones to quite diabolical, and I already have a set of puzzles exactly like this. 225 puzzles from the Sudoku Universe game. I'll run the program solving them all, but using different sets of methods, from pure backtracking to a set of different logical strategies. And then let's see which option will be the fastest. Quick side note, Python is known and loved for many reasons, but speed is not one of them. Don't get me wrong, it's quite adequate for most of the tasks, but Python, being an interpreted language, will never be as fast as compiled language, for example, C++. The difference in speed is staggering, hundreds of times. However, as I'm interested not in the speed itself, but rather in the relative speed of different approaches, that's okay. All right, all set, 225 puzzles, 10 attempts using different combination of methods. And we start with pure backtracking. This is actually the most time consuming way of solving a Sudoku puzzle. It took my solver about 8,100 seconds more than two hours to get answers in all 225 puzzles. And the reason for that is, as we haven't eliminated any candidates, our backtracking algorithm has to go through the maximum amount of numbers. What can we do to improve the result? At least the most basic technique, simple elimination. For the details of different Sudoku solving techniques, check out the video about writing the solver. With added simple elimination, we solved all the puzzles in about 2600 seconds, about 44 minutes. That's a step up, isn't it? So let's keep adding strategies. Next up, hidden single. With it, we can get all the solutions in 660 seconds or just 11 minutes. Next one is what I call a CSP, which is another way of implementing hidden and single pairs, triplets and quads. As you might have guessed, the time we need went down even further, 240 seconds or just 4 minutes. Intersection, pointing pairs and line box reduction, brings the time down to 182 seconds. Implementing X-Wing shaves off another half a minute and grand total now is at 152 seconds or about 2 minutes and a half. Last strategy that had some effect was X-Cycles bringing time down to 140 seconds. Nicely done. And this is where good news stops. Remaining three strategies that I had implemented, uh, that is coloring, Y-wing and my favorite 3D Medusa, didn't add to the efficiency of the solver and kept final time at 140 something mark. So there you have it, we did manage to bring down the total time more than 50 times compared to the pure backtracking. The strategies that had the most effect are the simplest one. And those tough and diabolical strategies, I only had a few of them to try, did not really have any measurable effect on performance. Which is understandable, they do work in rather particular circumstances that are rare to begin with. And this is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't seen my video about writing the Sudoku solver, check that out. 
Otherwise, take care and see you in other videos. Bye.